Hi, I'm Tinade. Hi, I'm Damien. I'm Gochi. Hi, I'm Olwell. My name is Zainab. I'm Joshua. I'm Michael. Hi, I'm James. Transition from being an on personality to being a software engineer wasn't an easy one anyways. Coming from this background of mass communication, I didn't really have anything to do with mathematics or all these computer science courses and all that. My previous job was routine now and prior to that, my internship experience made me realize that I wanted more in the tech space. I was formerly a creative designer, so I would say transitioning from that background to tech was different because I had to move from that visual mindset to a logical mindset. Um, design thinking was very important to me because it helped me do more of thinking with tech, obviously, and improved um, my perspective of solving problems. I chose Semicolon because my younger sister had attended and I'd seen how Semicolon had transformed her to the person she had become, and I felt that was the right place for me to be. Okay, so um, I chose software engineering because um, I had a product I was building on and as at the time I was just a nurse and I needed a technical skill or technical talent to join me. It was difficult finding one so I thought to maybe upscale. I was in a vigorous job at that time where I worked from from 8 to 5 really but it's way more than that like sometimes I get to work like 8 and I leave work around 10 and I get home around 12, midnight, it's really, really crazy. And then I was like, there's something like remote work somewhere. How can I get access to it? And for me, semicolon was as a result of a good review from my mom. My mom was like, ah, her friend's daughter went to this place. You should try, check it out. And it was, it was good. I saw everything they had to say on their website. And I was like, let me give them a call. I did a couple of research and I found out that Semicolon has the best curriculum and um, their training is also um, on-site as opposed to others that are just online. And um, so far so good, I am grateful that I made that decision. What I gave up, I gave up a federal government job, a job with security. I also gave up um, having to stay, having to be alone without my family, that's my husband and my four kids. Anybody remember my class, I smile because we are a variety of people from different walks of life. So coming together, we kind of like knew how to understand each other and how to make things happen. What was special about our class was our jokes. Whenever the class was stressed out or since we were getting to a certain heated point, we always knew how to make ourselves laugh and it also helps from keeping you sleeping class. What is special about my class is the collaborative mindset we all have towards solving problems. We set the trend in the village at that time. We started the Regnos Anthem, the only court <laughs> that had an, an anthem. Thank you for the days I understood the new concept. The ones that were introduced by Chibuza himself. Thank you for the days I was confused after classes. Thank you for the days when my code no wrong. For the days I was able to figure it out myself. I don't wanna have to have your mighty cause tomorrow I may fall down on my face. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hey. Creating my project was a proof of concept, it meant that my investment into the semicolon, um, into semicolon wasn't a waste. It meant that over the last 10 months, I'd gained what they taught me and I could use it in the outside world. It was exciting. It was also somewhat frustrating because you need to remember, we need to remember all the way from our design phase, our design thinking to critical thinking and inculcate some bit of industrial design too, you know, and make sure you're able to fuse everything well, tight enough into your product, into your design and give it exactly what you're thinking of. So it's hard to bring out the best in us, it's hard to bring out that creativity and that thought process in us from um, scratch to finish. I have three boys and they're always glued to the phone playing game. So I wanted to build something that wouldn't take away that joy of playing the game, 
but then would be educative and so we created four games a game that was adventurous but then would teach you how to spell one memorable speech someone told me was not let anything or anyone define my interest in learning any programming language the speech came at a time when i was facing what is called the imposter syndrome and one of the facilitators told me that it is something that happens frequently in this line of work and the only way you can um, override it, sorry I'm using software engineering terms, is by putting in the work and by putting in the work you're telling yourself or you are making yourself know that yes I actually know this thing. Uh, my level of preparedness, you know funny how this is like a paradox because I'm supposed to be prepared, right? But the level of knowledge I've received have made me see how much unprepared I am. So, well, now I know what I don't know. So now I know how to go looking for the things that I don't know. With my skill set and what I am capable of learning, I am ready to dive into the tech ecosystem. I'd like to refer to my preparedness with the five nines. 99.99999%. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9.